Uh, today I want to show you how to wire up lighting and accessories on your Can-Am Commander uh, using relays and switches. I know a lot of people like to wire up their lighting uh, using just a switch and I wanted to caution against that because uh, wiring and lighting can use up quite can use quite a bit of amperage and it's much much safer to use a relay. The type of relay that I want to uh, discuss today uh, that I'm going to be using is this automotive type relay. As you can see here, uh, this is a, just a regular relay that you can buy at any automotive store. Um, this particular one uh, is a 40 amp relay and like I said it can handle much higher um, amperages than just uh, using the switch alone and that makes it much much safer. Uh, as you can see on this on this relay it has four blades on it. Uh, each blade has a specific purpose that we're going to discuss later but uh, just for um, clarity I just wanted to show you that uh, one thing that I like to do with these relays they're all pretty much identical um, as you can see like I said the relay has uh, four blades on it three of them which face in one direction and one that faces uh, opposite direction uh, that goes horizontal and this is this is uh, designed that way so that you're clear on which on uh, which blade to use for which application uh, the numbers are uh, not visible on the on the camera here uh, but uh, typically you'll find on these relays that the bottom blade right here when you hold it in this position with the three blades going this way and the one horizontal blade up at the top the bottom blade here is the number 30 blade the right hand side blade will be the 85 the left hand side blade will be the 86 and the top blade will be the 87 now if you take a look at the diagram <clears throat> Excuse me. If you take a look at the diagram on the screen that I'm showing you now, you'll notice that each blade has a specific purpose, as I mentioned before. The number 30 blade is a 12 volt DC blade coming directly off your battery. Uh, the number 85 blade is your ground. The number 86 is a, is a switched um, blade there that will come from the switch, from your automotive switch and uh, the number 87 will then go to your lighting or your accessory that you're going to be powering. Now let's take a look at the different kinds of switches that you are able to use. Uh, one of the most common switches is something like this here. This switch is a very simple automotive type switch. You can, again, you can pick this up at, at any AutoZone or uh, Checkers or, any, or your favorite uh, auto store there. Uh, you'll notice that at the back of this switch has three blades itself. Okay, one blade is for the input of the 12 volts, the second blade is for the output of the 12 volts, and then the third blade is for a ground. Uh, not all switches are going to have this third blade. Only, <clears throat> excuse me, only the switches that have a light inside of them require a ground. Um, this particular switch is called what's called a single position single throw switch, meaning that it has one position. Um, and and one output. Okay, one position meaning it's either on or off. Okay, very simple. Again, most people, uh, a lot of people like these kinds of switches just because they're, they're very simple to install, very easy to use, um, and they're very clean looking, and they are lighted. So that's that's a very nice feature. Another type of switch that I have here, it's called what's a, called a momentary switch. Um, this switch is uh, at does exactly as it sounds. It's a momentary position on, uh, hold it on, and when you let it go, it clicks right back off. It's a little spring-loaded switch in there. Uh, if you'll notice, this one has just the two blades that I mentioned before. Those two blades there are uh, just for completing the circuit. Like I said, you know, 12 volts in, 12 volts out to your load, or in this case, to our relay. Um, and this is most commonly used for a horn. Uh, on, on our applications, on our UTV. Uh, very simple switch to use, very inexpensive. <clears throat> the type of switch that I'm going to be using today is what's called a single position dual throw switch. Uh, you've seen a lot of these and as a matter of fact our commander has uh, has some of these has a combination of these actually the winch switch would be a would be a momentary switch. The uh, headlight switch is is a uh, high and low beam okay but this particular switch that I, that I got uh, what makes it unique is as a single position dual throw switch it has on off and on positions so it's actually you can go um, you can power two different uh, accessories 
with just one switch. The reason I've chosen to use this switch is because of our limited switch plate spaces in the commander. <clears throat> I can maximize the number of accessories that I'm going to be installing uh, using just two switches. I can get four accessories. Okay, uh, and in this case uh, today, I'm just going to be hooking up one accessory, but I've already made plans for for both positions of this switch. Uh, today, I'm going to be hooking up a uh, lighted whip, which will turn on when I when I push the button that way, and then I'm also going to hook up the dome lights uh, that I've installed uh, when I hit the position that way. So let's go ahead and uh, hook this up. As you can see, I've gone ahead and I've done all of my wiring ahead of time. Uh, I removed the center console and what I've done first is I've connected a wire here coming off of the ignition switch and I've labeled it IGN. Okay, and that ignition switch wire um, is 12 volts DC coming off of the ignition. Now on the commander specifically there are two different switch positions that you can use. One position 12 volts DC has the lights on and then the second position has the lights off. I've chosen to go ahead and hook mine to the black and I believe yellow wire uh, with the headlights on or off that there's 12 volts going to that to the to those wires whenever I whenever I turn the switch on. Now if you want to just connect it to the other wire on the opposite side it's a yellow wire with a blue stripe you can do that too uh, but that will only give you 12 volts when you're in the lights on position. Okay. I've also connected and I have uh, a battery uh, wire coming here with three different, uh, three different leads coming off of it because I'm going to hook up three different relays to it. Okay. Um, I've also got some ground wires here that I've made a little harness with five different, relay, or five different blades coming off of that. And then I've got my jumper cable here that will go from my switch to my, to my whip. Okay, and I've labeled that. And then lastly, I've got some wires back here that go uh, to the accessories themselves, um, the dome light and to the whip. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and connect these up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, wiring up the relay. Uh, as I told you before, if we hold the relay in this position here, okay, with the flat blade on top, I know that my number 30 is down here on the bottom. Okay, and so the 30 is the is the 12 volts DC coming right from the battery. So that's the first thing I'm going to hook up is 12 volts DC coming from the battery. Okay, all right. Let me get that on there. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've insulated all of my all of my wires here so we don't get any shorts. Okay, um, and I would recommend that you do the same thing because this is 12 volts coming right off the battery, so you want to be careful with that. Alright, the second thing that, I, that we, I need to hook up is going to be my ground directly to my relay. Okay, The ground goes to position number 85, and as I mentioned before, when I'm holding it this, in this manner here, um, the 85 will be on the right. Okay, So I'll go ahead and get my ground wire here, and I'll hook it up over here. Okay, Number 86, that one is the, the, the wire that comes off of my switch. Okay, As I told you here, I have this little jumper and I've labeled it 86 whip. Okay, That's for my relay. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that to my relay here. Okay, And 87, let me get that connected there. Alright, and 87, <clears throat> excuse me, is the wire that will go to my whip itself. But before I connect that, I'm actually going to test that once I get this all hooked up. So I'm going to hold off on connecting number 87 until I get everything done. Okay, now let's move on to the switch that I'm using. As I mentioned, it's a dual, uh, single position dual throw switch, okay? And it has a light inside of it, so I do need, to, do need to connect a ground to that. So I'm going to start with the ground, and on this particular switch, it's this terminal right here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect a ground to this, okay? Right there. All right, now um, the other uh, so, uh, wire that I need to hook up is, remember I told you I, I had this little jumper here? This one goes to the output of the switch. Okay, now this switch, this particular switch has two outputs depending on which position I, I toggle the switch in and I do know that um, the output is either this bottom one or this top one. So I think for this one I'll go ahead and connect it right here to the bottom. 
All right, so I've got that hooked up. And then the last thing I need to hook up is my um, 12 volts DC coming in from my ignition. Okay, so I'll start, oh, grab this over here. I'll get that connected right here. Now, there we go. So now I've got one relay completely connected to this switch, okay, with an output here on the relay that will go to my lighted whip. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to go ahead and test this, and in order to do so, I need to turn on the ignition and get my, get my tester. All I'm using is just a simple 12-volt uh, tester here with the light on it. That will show me if I've got 12 volts going through. What I need to do is I need to ground this out, and since I have plenty of uh, ground wires here to connect to, I'll just put the alligator clip on that. Okay, I'll touch this to number 87, which is my output on my relay. I'm going to turn on my ignition to either position, should work, okay, and as you can see here, I have, the, I have the switch in the off position, and as soon as I click this, I should get a light on my wire, on, on my tester, and I should get a light on my switch. Let's see if that works. Well, I got it on my switch, but I don't have it on my tester. Maybe I need to go in the opposite direction. There we go. Okay, so holding my switch in that direction, as you can see, I've got a light on my tester, which shows me that my relay is working, and I've got 12 volts coming out to my to my whip. Okay, and it all shuts off when I do that. Now the light does come on up here, and that will be connected to my dome light once I get my dome light connected uh, to another relay. So here's my dome light switch. I have a second relay, and I'll hook it up just the same, but it, it works just fine. And so now all I have to do is get everything all buttoned back up, tied up real nice, and uh, I should have a dome light and a lighted whip with no problems whatsoever. Hope this helps you out. Thank you.